What's up everyone, welcome back to Switchcraft and it's a great day to be a gamer. Man, I don't know if 2019 is the year of the leak, but today's only the 8th and it already seems like we have a ton. Smash Bros DLC characters, Nintendo Direct leaks, supposed Pokemon leaks, next gen Xbox and PS5 leaks, all kinds of stuff about the Switch revision, and now we have info on a potential new Final Fantasy game and some key information on games we might see very shortly pop into the Nintendo online service of retro games. Let's start with the Final Fantasy because that's probably why you came here, let's be honest. The good news is that it's not more DLC for Final Fantasy XV, but the bad news is that it's in fact a digital card game. In my constant searching of the bowels of the internet for the latest and greatest info, I came across an article on Gematsu.com who, who referenced a Twitter user by the name of at Pierce's World for noticing quite a few patents filed in Japan recently. Patent number 2018154309 is by Square Enix and it's titled Final Fantasy Digital Card Game. There is currently a physical Final Fantasy card game that's a popular trading game and hobby in Japan, but I don't know much about it. There is not, however, any sort of digital version of this game known of. Yet, at least. If I had to guess, I'd eventually look for a Final Fantasy trading card game releasing digitally on the Nintendo eShop in the future. But keep in mind, it'll probably be a Japan exclusive. But onto something we might see a little sooner and a little more likely that we'll see it in the West. We had Bandai Namco file a bunch of patents for five of its titles that were originally released on the NES. Look for these to make their way to the Switch online service retro library, as that's most likely what they're for. We had Battle City, Warp Man, Final Lap, Family Pinball, and Dragon Spirit The New Legend, or as it's known in Japan, Aratanru Densetsu. I'm not even gonna pretend I've played any of those games, which means I can't tell you much about them, but it also means I'll have five games coming down the pipeline that I'll get to experience for the first time. But I'm gonna have to leave it to you guys down in the comments. Have you previously played any of those NES games? If so, let me know what you think of them down below and which one we should check out first. Considering that we don't have much info for what's coming down the pipeline in the future for the Switch Online Retro Library, we might just be relying on scraps of info like this for hints and clues. But one thing to really look out for is closer to September, if we start seeing a bunch of SNES games start to have their patents either filed or renewed, especially if it's in a large number. A lot of people are beginning to speculate that we will indeed have SNES games on the Switch, but Nintendo is holding off until closer to the one year anniversary as some added incentive to get all the people who are early adopters to renew their subscription. Again, only time will tell, but it looks like we have plenty to chew on in the meantime. Thanks for watching and I wanna say a hello and welcome to all of the new supporters of the channel that have kinda of joined the crew in the last, I don't know, week or so. 2019 is off to a great start for the channel. I'm really excited to see how much we can grow the channel in the coming year. It's a great day to be a gamer. Switchcraft out.